Uh, but let's go to Carl. He's a Norwich fan. All right, Carl? All right, Carl. Hello, evening. How are we? Oh, oh Carl. Oh. <laughs> my, my. Yeah, Jake, no need to rub it in. We lay down, bent over, and took one hell of a smack. Yeah. And it, for me, the attitude wasn't right. It's a 40 ga- 46 game half season. It was a case of the David Wagner was never the right manager for the job. Stuart Webber brought in. Um, you know, jobs for the boys, and uh, it was never the right appointment. You can't say jobs for the boys with Daniel Farker. Come on, it I mean, Wagner. Wagner, no, sorry. Yeah. What it was, if it weren't for Weber, he would have never been appointed. We need to get rid of the man and start a fresh rebuild, particularly that back four. It's horrendous. Um, they stunk the pace out today, but that's not the first time I've seen that this season. Mm. Yeah, it's a tough one, that. Last game to see and give everything. But Leeds were too good, though, Carl. I mean, I know Norwich stunk the place out, but Leeds were just on it, mate. I, I think Leeds would have beaten pretty much most teams there tonight. They were that good. They were, and it, it was men v boys. And, you know, they were unlucky not to get automatic promotion. But uh, the right teams won tonight, unfortunately. It's killed me to say it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, look, Carl, obviously next season, what, what's, what's the plan? Is... Because you know, you know, this yo-yoing that Norwich kind of did has stopped, hasn't it? It's kind of feel like you're stuck there a little bit. Yeah, it seems to me that they go up, they take the money, they come straight back down. Um, I don't think it's going to work this time. It's a rebuild job for Carrow Road. Mm. Right, let's go to Shane. He's a Norwich fan, right, Shane? <laughs> right, Shane. <laughs> oh, where do I begin, guys? Oh, dear. How are you feeling? Oh, dear, Shane. Absolutely. Um, what? Well... How, how do I put this without swearing on live? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I feel like in the first leg when we drew nil-nil, I think that was the most negative approach we could ever gone to, knowing that we had to go to Leeds, mm-hmm. who we all know are a fantastic team, very expensive team, in fact, knowing that they've got top quality players and they're pr- you know what they're like, you know, you we were pretty much on the back foot from the from the get go, really. And as soon as they scored their first goal, we completely crumbled. Yeah, and I just I felt got... like after that, it was just you know we were we begging to play. You had to take something there. I felt you had, to, and you didn't. Um, the game, the first game, was a pretty dull. I think you just shaded it, but it wasn't wasn't much in it. But I think you just got to give Leeds credit tonight, Shane. They were at it. The fans were at it. The team were at it, and they were relentless all night. And you just got. You got blown away. You got completely blown away. I could not agree more. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we're, we're, our whole team has been begging with injuries. Like obviously, Josh Sargent, he's got 16 goals for this season. You know, he's been missing for a lot of the games recently. He's only recently come back. It just, it just literally felt like to me that we got into the playoffs just about. I think there was a point where we got fifth place and I thought, you know, we could either play West Brom or Southampton, which, you know, they're good teams too, but I think we would have had a better chance against them too than Leeds. They were probably the last team mm-hmm. to face. And Shane, Ipswich went up. And Ips, yeah, don't even get me started on them. Ipswich went up, Shane. Uh, you know, this is how I look at it, and most Norwich fans will probably disagree with what I'm about to say here. Like, okay. we've had so much dominance in the Championship and the Premier League where Ipswich have been suffering in the likes of League One and they're in the Championship for like 16-odd years. Mm. Now it just seems like it's their time to shine now. You know, it's see what they can do. But, <laughs> you know, it's, oh, it's see what they are all about. I mean, we've been a laughing stock in the Premier League recently, so obviously a bit of me hopes they're going to be a laughing stock also. Yeah, even Delia, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> even she can... Um, Oh, Shane, he's he got lost it then. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he had, he had a, yeah. it's a lot to deal with there, There's a lot going on there. There was a lot happening I mean, for we, the poor we, fella. I mean, poor fella. Through <laughs> Ipswich at him as well. Through Ipswich at him, violin and Delia, all in one phone call. <laughs> poor guy. No wonder, he, <laughs> no wonder he's just gone. Stop this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Poor fella. Poor I, guy. Yeah, yeah. get uh, yourself some sh- wiggles, that'll cheer you up. Yeah, Shane, top man, mate. Thanks for phoning in. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.